Now, an eight-year-old girl is receiving emergency treatment at the Waliwali Government Hospital in the Northeast region after her father assaulted her with fire and a stick for allegedly stealing 10 Ghana cities. The victim, who has since lost three fingers of her right hand, was accused by her stepmother of stealing the money from her grandmother. The girl is said to have denied the accusation and exonerated by the grandmother, but the father, identified as Al Hassan Majida, insisted the money was with her and attacked the little girl, beating her mercilessly with a stick, leading to eye injuries before setting her hand on fire. The victim was abandoned after the assault, which occurred last Wednesday night at Bapri, a village about 20 kilometers from Waliwali, the municipal capital. She was, however, rescued by a relative who rushed her to the Wulugu Health Center before she was quickly referred to the Waliwali Hospital. The victim's auntie, Aminatu Salifu, who is now taking care of her at the hospital, spoke to regional correspondent Ilyasu Tanko. Mambela yin me. So, I'm to call my daughter, and I'm going to call my daughter. I'm going I received a call inviting me to this hospital and upon arrival I was introduced to this little girl who I readily identified. She is my junior sister's daughter living with her father in one of the villages outside Waliwali. I asked her what is wrong with her and she showed me her hand. I asked her what happened to her hand and she said her father set it on fire and burned it. I asked her what crime she has committed to warrant this barbaric punishment by her father. Then she said she was wrongfully accused of stealing 10 Ghana cities from her grandmother. The man first assaulted the child with a stick, leading to injuries to her eye before putting her hand into the fire. The next day, this man refused to give the child any treatment, rather abandoned her and left to his farm after this girl cried throughout the night. He didn't even care to get treatment for this child, and he has not come here either. It clearly shows this man is not remorseful. She was left alone in pain until her elder father came to the house and found her in this condition. So he brought her to the Wulugu facility and they were referred here in Waliwali. This man has no patience, so we will take care of the child. But for my sister, she will never return into this kind of marriage. Now, Elias Utanko, our correspondent, has been following this story and he joins us via Zoom for more on this. Elias, first and foremost, how's the girl doing? Hi, Daniel, I can hear you. Great. How is the little girl doing, Ilyasu? Daniel, please, can you repeat the question again? How is the little girl faring now? How is she doing? Well, as you can see behind me, yes, this is the little girl that we are talking about right now. And she has just moved from the emergency ward, currently standing at the back of the ward with her mother. Her mother just came down from Kumasa this early morning and the family members have also gathered here. They are having family chats this morning, but you can see this is the little girl currently standing behind me. Uh, hospital authorities are saying that her condition is stable and you can see her clearly standing there. She's feeling a little better now according to the hospital authorities. Right. Um, so, Eliasu, let's talk to let's talk about um, the mother of the girl now. Focus a bit more on her, and you can allow the the little girl to rest now. Um, I can imagine she is uh, very very tired and feeling very very traumatized, having gone through what she has gone through. Um, so, Eliasu, you can let her go now. Now, 
What has her mother been telling you? Well, this is the mother also. She has just come from Kumasi. She has the the marriage has been a turbulent one. She left the marriage as a result of constant abuse, according to her. So she went to Kumasi, uh, and this morning she have just come back from Kumasi as a result of this particular incident. She told me that she had suffered a lot of abuse uh, 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 in this particular marriage. And so she recounted that an, on a particular incident, she was pregnant and there was a misunderstanding between she uh, and the husband. The husband beat her, stamped on her stomach, and she was brought to this same facility. The matter was never reported to the police. So as I speak to you right now, uh, family members have gathered. They are trying to speak to the woman to understand not to persuade the case. Uh, as I speak to you now, the police form that has been issued to uh, the woman uh, has not been returned to the police, apparently because uh, uh, the family members are trying to stop her from reporting this particular case to the police. And clearly, as you can see here now, this is her, her items. She just returned from Kumasi. She hasn't got home. Uh, this is her items. I can show you her bag here. Uh, this is her, uh, the, 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 the item she also brought back from Kumasi. So she's kind of very uh, disturbed now. And, and also right now that the, uh, the family members are trying to stop her from pursuing this case in the police. She's very, very stranded and confused right now. And you can see it clearly in her face. She told me that right now she doesn't know actually what to do because initially when she was coming back from Kumasi, her intention was to persuade this case uh, at the police station because this is not the first time that the man has abused her and now the daughter. But as we speak right now, family members are here speaking to her, desperately getting, trying to get her to stop pursuing the case. So the woman is here, she's very, very confused right now. Eliasu, um, if you can engage her, if that is possible, I simply want to know where the form is and if she is not willing to report to the police. Because, Elias, we understand that this is a criminal matter. It does not lie with any family member or even she herself, whether or not this issue has to be pursued by the police. And so for the safety of the girl, it is only right that she goes ahead to report. Can, can you engage her and find out from her why she hasn't gone to the police yet? So, that's what I told you about. So, no, the police form is not going to be able to do it. I don't know, but I don't know what to do with the police form. I don't know what to do with the police form. I don't know what to do with the police form. I don't know what to do with the police form. I don't know what to do with the police form. Mina nere jir fila ma ayele ne. Oh, I very much. Yeah, mina nere jir fila ay na bi nzang yet pama chong police station. Bozo ka bo bon yet pama chong police station. Na bo bo zang chong police station man ya mbe na ju. Mbe na ni zang chong police station. Eno la yet akaran kana. Dama idu arabi la dan shiri sa tijesu. Tumma ma police station di chong ni eh ipule shiri zuri ni agbali shiri ni. Well, Daniel, what basically what she's trying to say is that at this particular, she didn't report the matter to the police station. The hospital at Wulugu, obviously, when the incident happened, the man left or abandoned this child and went to his farm. And so it was a, a relative of this child who found her alone in the house, then brought her to the Wulugu Health Facility, and she was quickly referred to this particular facility. So clearly what this woman is telling me right now is that she did not report the case to the police station. And so I, I asked her why she's refusing to persuade the police, and she's and she said it's against their culture and tradition. It is against the tradition of the, the, the Mampusi people for a wife to take her, her husband to the police station or to put her 
uh, uh, or to report a domestic affair before the police or to the police station. She said it is against the customs and tradition of the Mampusi people. So this is the reason why she is not uh, sending the to the court, even though she had uh, told me that this man, like I said, on a particular incident, when she was pregnant, there was a dispute between them. The man beat her up with sticks and stamped on her stomach. She was sent to this particular hospital. She nearly lost that particular uh, pregnancy, but she was safe. Nonetheless, the woman is saying, based on their tradition and custom, it is unacceptable for a woman to drag her husband to the police mm. based on a domestic issue. So this is the reason why she's contemplating of not taking the matter to the police station or not returning the police form to them for them to take the next line of action, Daniel. Right. Um, Elias, so before we go ahead, let me just um, apologize to our audience. We are unable to show the footage that Eliasu is showing us currently because I don't know if you noticed that the little girl keeps trying to get into the camera shot and it's against our ethics to show um, juvenile victims of abuse. And so we, we are unable to show th those live visuals from Wale Wale, from the Wuligo Hospital. Now, now Ilyasu, I, whatever the customs may be, the police has a responsibility to investigate this. And if anyone stops them from investigating it, including the girl's mother herself, they could also be charged for aiding and abetting. So my question is, what has the police been saying what have they been doing? Are they simply sitting down and waiting for the phone to be brought to them, or they are actively pursuing the case? Well, I spoke with the police commander, the municipal police commander this morning, and what he told me is that he, this particular case has not brought to his attention. And like I said, the police have, even though the police have issued a form, uh, ostensibly they are waiting for the the relatives to return the form so that they can take the next line of action. Like I said, the yeah. municipal police commander told me that this particular case hasn't brought to their attention. Mm. And so they are waiting for the relative to come with the police form so that they can uh, come in and initiate an investigation. As we speak right now, it doesn't seem to appear uh, that the, the, the relatives are ready to persuade this particular matter. The head of the family is currently here himself trying to stop the relative of this particular, the, the, the mother and other, uh, other relative of the victim from sending the matter or bringing the police in. And so uh, it, it is a difficult situation. The social welfare uh, have not also responded to this particular matter. And so the police right. have not taken any particular action, ostensibly waiting for the people to bring the police form before they step in, Daniel. Thank you very much, Ilyasu.